Yeah, well, first and foremost, delighted to be here um, as a player. It's obviously a huge club. Um, and a few conversations with Steve over the summer um, that's kind of got me here as well. Uh, but listen, first and foremost, delighted to play. Um, I'm very hungry to still play at the, at the top. And, and with a team that's got the same ambition as me and the management that's got the same ambition as me is to, to win and get promoted. So that's why I'm at Aston Villa. Well, to be fair, with things going, you know, till the end at Chelsea, it was, you know, I put everything to kind of to the side. And a lot of managers were, were, were respectful of that. Um, but it was kind of bubbling once the season finished, you know, phone calls, text messages, and, and then obviously bumped into Steve in, in, in Portugal as well. Um, it's got huge respect for him as, as a player, as a, as a person, as a man as well. The way he's dealt with me personally and professionally has, has been great and a, and a key factor of me joining. Yeah, th there was a lot of managers that I'll, I'll be respectful and won't kind of name teams, but, you know, I'll thank them for their, for their approach and, and their offers. But for me, it was just that, you know, th the mental side against playing against Chelsea, you know, was just too much to, to, to kind of get over for me. You know, it was 22 years at the football club and 22 unbelievable years. So I'm very proud of that. But this is a new chapter in, in my life and my career. Um, you know, I wish Chelsea well next season and obviously be, be watching out. But, you know, my thoughts 100 percent here and, you know, and the ambition is to, to get us back to the Premier League. Yeah, my debut was against Aston Villa, 97, 98. Yeah. Full circle. Full circle, yeah. It's crazy. Football's crazy how it kind of works, but you know, as I said before, the ambition for me to, to continue playing. Um, some people will understand, and some people won't. But you know, I want to keep playing. I'm, you know, I'm in good physical condition. Um, you know, I didn't play too many games last year, um, and, and I'm ready to play and give it everything for this for this year. Yes, but well, not frustrating at all. We had an unbelievable season, and whether I was kind of on the bench or in the stand, you know, I was fully supportive of the team and the management and. You know, wish them well because you know it's going to be even tougher, kind of next season, to retain it. We've seen that the history of the Premier League kind of speaks for itself, anyway. Uh, but naturally, wish them well, and we'll always look out. You know, Chelsea's my club, but I'm 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 here. I'm ready to fight for the Villa shirt and and fight for this football club. Well, of course, it was going to be difficult. We knew that from the offset. I had a conversation with Keith and Steve some two months ago that you know, can we go and make and try and make it happen. And they both give me the green light to try and make it happen. And of course, we've had to beat off a bit of competition. But I think the main thing was John and his, and his will to, to play. He wants to play. And I just reiterated that to him, that you're a long time retired. You know, you've still got a lot to offer. And uh, it's a huge acquisition for all of us here and sends out a message of intent that if we can, and, and so is the size of the club we've got, that we can track John to come and play, it, which is one of the great stadiums. So when you're the most decorated and you've got the colour of John Terry, then you'll, <laughs> you'll ultimately cost a fair few quid, which is understandable, but worth every penny because we know what he brings. Um, you know, it's not often you get a natural leader of men these days. And certainly John has been that over the years. And uh, I've watched him from afar from a long, long time for a long, long time now, and um, to get us, to get him here, um, is a great coup for all of us because um, of what he'll give to the club. Well, it's all arguably the biggest, you know, when you look at what he's done and what he's achieved and what he's, um, what he's done in his career. Then, you know, we'd love to be saying that when he was 26, not 36, I have to say. But physically, I've seen him, I've seen him train um, only 10 days ago. Physically, he's in fantastic uh, shape for someone of his age so that doesn't bother us at all and as I've said repeatedly it's what he can bring to the dressing room and the whole football club that you know it's a, it's a state of intent statement of intent of getting someone of his, his calibre um, to come and be a player that we, we all know he is